not in there. Yeah. So he yes, called sir. and asked them, where are you? And I said, I'm in at Edmond's in dream. And you know, we can say here and we tell him not that. Only can tell him, so when he's here to spread, who's to be? So when the husband, after this, he called the mom and said that they fought, they spread on my bed again. It's me poor, you know. Mitchell will come and cry. It's me too, you know. Anna, my damn, not best spread this and panel soon. See, you don't even have a damn panel soon. I'm not a spread me. Or friend, let me make a sack. See, my damn panel soon, I tell you, my Bible, you're very close to me. It's me damn panel soon, I'm seeing you, she said, I have four. No, so sorry, not for the video call, I mean, it's a hard day. It's me few best friend, no soon. And you're wrong. I mean, I can say. Amen. Uh, so when I called my mom, my mom asked me to do a video uh, call so she can find out what is actually going on after I find out that my bed has wet already. So I do the calls and I lift up my blanket from the bed and I saw that a chemical has been sprayed wet under. And this chemical is a deadly chemical that when I breathe, blood comes from my nose and everywhere. So it's like slow poisoning. So when my, my, my mother saw she was speechless, she couldn't speak. Because when I take the blanket off and put another one, get wet, because the thing has been soaked with that chemical. So immediately I call the police. So the police said they will come the next day. I couldn't sleep in that room because of the strong odor in that room. So I came to the hall and sleep in the sofa. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, please sleep back over here. I say, this is so sad. Wow. So, Saturday morning, uh, a police came, a black man, and then said that this is so sad when he saw this thing. Bill and I are wet with chemicals, the whole bed, the whole mattress. No, I see many beds, it's not so. I mean, fair. And to change to all the evidence. If there is CC cameras around, they are going to check to investigate. It will take time. I shouldn't worry. The pillow and the mattress were wet, soaked with chemical. So the police advised me to take everything, pack them somewhere because they are going to use it as an investigation so that they find what actually happened. Though it's going to take long, but they will work on it. So I removed the mattress and took it outside. So I got to know that it is it was alibi. Upon all this, you know, I don't know. Friday morning, the story now was feeling good. To be quite I don't know why I feel good this morning, man. But sorry, feeling good. So I praise the Lord. I praise the Lord that uh, even that Friday when I went to work, I was feeling very good. And I was even wondering that I couldn't have enough sleep, but then I was very fit. So Friday now, I don't think I'm alive by now. I give glory to God. Amen. I, I give all the glory to God because that chemical is a very poisonous chemical. If I should have slept on the bed that Friday, I will not be alive. So I give all the praise to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We also thank you for your prayer. But my sister, do you live in the house alone? 
So, okay. so many things. God is so good in our lives because back door me a glasses. Oh, I need glasses to her. It is sometimes no fit here for thirty. So fit here for thirty. Oh, I need to buy this black hat. I'm sorry, go check it out. So that's me give you another one. Me lock up. Me want to be a jump pull back to the door. Wow. Okay, that means the man. Okay, okay, okay. So don't 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 talk much. So so it's your own husband who wants to kill you. Yes. My my sister. My sister, this thing has happened before. Oh, it has five years in marriage. Oh, how many years? Five years. Twenty-five. Twenty-five years. That's all right. The woman in 1994. I was Switzerland. Okay. Uh, what I'll say is that my sister. Life is so precious. Life is so precious. And you don't know what life has for you. This thing has happened before. I know a couple uh, who did the same thing. The husband did the same thing, but in a different way. The husband opened the gas in the house and left. Intentionally opened the gas and left. The wife was sleeping. Uh, their grandson was also there. Granddaughter. Granddaughter was also there. And he left. By the time he came, both of them are, are gone. Both of them are gone. So, my sister, it is happening. And we thank the Lord God for your life for all these years. The Lord has been keeping you. I think it is time to move on. Yes. Amen. It is time to move on because all this that the Lord is saving you is just preventing you, telling you something. So that yes. when you die, you will not enter into hell. Because you might not be prepared. So we thank the Lord for your wife. We thank my sister. We thank God for your life. We are not scared of anyone. Amen. We thank God Amen. for your life. We are preachers Amen. and we have to say something about this. Amen. 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 We are not getting married to go and die. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. We thank the Lord. Brother, let me tell you something. The revelation that our sister had about their spiritual marriage. There are so many holiness people still having spiritual marriages. According to Revelation, that spiritual husband said, because of where you are, I know I cannot get hold of you. So many people are being holiness and righteous, I'm telling you, but they sleep and demons come and sleep with them. They have taken everything out of them. Depending on where you are, where you worship, it is so important. At times when you sit on the television, they will, they will do something on the television and they will tell you that don't practice it at home. Do you think they are saying it for nothing? If you think that where you are, because you have taken everything off, you are going to heaven, you are going to be free, be careful. Because where you will be, is also important. Mm. Mm. If the anointing of the almighty God is not where you are, you will take off everything, you will still sleep and somebody will come and sleep with you. I'm telling you. Mm. You will stay there and you enter into hell. That is why the Lord opened her eyes. I came to pass and I was happy. I, immediately I passed that man off. Brethren, let us pray for God to show us where. It's not anywhere that you hear holiness and righteousness, you run and go. You will go and you will still carry your troubles. You will go and you will still die and go to hell. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Mamma Sambacha, me too, eh? Uh -huh. You have to meet. No, you have to unmute your own self. I'm not. I'm not touching anything here. Very, I am very. I am very angry in the spirit. I'm telling you, very angry. Very angry. Some people try and put souls of people in bondage. Stay there. Stay there. If you go, you will go to hell. If you go, to, if I stay there and go to hell, and I go and go to hell, you know the same thing. After all, I will stay on this earth and enjoy before I die and go to hell. Maybe God will have mercy upon me. You don't know. Our God is a merciful God. He's a merciful God. So, brethren, don't be scared of what people will say. Don't be scared at all. We are serving a living God. Amen. A merciful God. A God who will never just take decision. He will assess your case before taking a decision. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. If not that, Jesus Christ will not tell that woman that go and see no more. You all these people, if no, you have not seen before, throw the first stone. Like immediately, he will tell them, Stone her. But he says, No. Check yourself. If I am going to be judged because of something, you are also going to be judged because of a different thing. Mm. So check yourself very well. Don't sit down for anybody to push you to hell or to push you to death, to, to die, any age. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Anything that the Lord have said in the, in the scriptures, when it gets to a critical point, there are exits. And the Lord understands it. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for these wonderful testimonies. And I believe the Lord God is going to look over his children always. When our lives will change. And we will see the glory of God in our lives. Amen. 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 <laughs> we thank God. Please. Tonight, the, mess the, the title of the message is very simple. The Lord is telling me and you to share his gospel. Hmm. Share the gospel. There are so many people out there that should be where you are now. But Satan has put them into captivity. Satan don't want them to go out. But the Lord is using me and you to save these people. If we come and we don't share the word, how can these people be saved? Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go with me very quickly to the book of James chapter 1. Precious. Sister Precious, are you, re are you ready with your three language, please? He 
These are precious. I'm saying this is a moment on Hey, as Okay. And I'm the to be a Amen. Amen. Don't practice this at home. Amen. Amen. Do you think that where, where you are, it will not go? Find a place to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, until you have taken everything, so you are free, you are in trouble. Find a place that the power of God is really working. <laughs> not where people are using experience. <laughs> Amen. 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 Go with me to the book of James, chapter 1. I am reading from the verse 18. Precious, are you ready, please? Okay, let's go. Okay. Jacob, Mama, Etibako, Etichemu. From 18 going, please. When I ask you to stop, then you stop. Okay. Amen. 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 Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth. That we might be a kind of first fruits. Amen. Of Amen. his creatures. First fruit. Do you understand that? If you are a firstborn, do you, do you, do you understand being a firstborn? If you are a firstborn, it means that you have to teach the little ones the rightful ways of the Lord. You have to cook for them. Dress them. Take them to school. Bring them home. Look after them when your parents are out there. Help them with their homework. Iron their clothes for them. If you are a firstborn, you are like a slave. For the younger ones. So the Lord has intentionally showed me and you the truth. He has brought us on this platform to come and know the truth. To make sure that those who are outside we will teach them what the Lord is teaching us here. We will share with them what the Lord is teaching us here. So that they can also come to the Lord. So that they can also be saved. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And now you said you are not doing it. I will stay here alone. I will come on this platform always. I will keep the word for myself. Then you are not being a good firstborn. A firstborn that you want your brethren to perish. You want your siblings to perish. The Lord has favored you to give you this good news. The undiluted word of God. Your siblings are dying out there. Your siblings are facing a lot of things that the devil has put in upon their lives. 
They are experiencing spiritual marriages. And you are here comfortably re re relaxing and re enjoying. Because you have been saved. If you will sleep and you see demons pounding on you left and right. You will run and save somebody out there. You will share. Look at the woman, the Samaritan woman. The Bible said when he heard the good news, he ran and called all the people in that village, Come! I have seen the Messiah. I cannot keep it for myself. He has told me the things that are hidden in my life. Come, come and see him. Brother, the Lord has made me a new firstborn. By showing us the way. By letting us know the truth. It is up to me and you to teach our siblings out there. If it were to be something like something will come up, half fish, half human being, you will take it out there. You are not helping them. They need deliverance. The power of Almighty God is, in, is on this platform, I'm telling you. God has anointed his children here on this platform. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Is the Lord communicating to me and you? <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hmm. If we feel comfortable, we forgot about where we came from. <laughs> Our sisters and brothers are suffering out there. <laughs> and this ministry has put it upon themselves to fast every month for those who are out there, who are lost. And we don't want to share the messages that the Lord is giving us here so that these people will hear and come. And we are happy to share unnecessary things. Is the Lord communicating to me and you tonight? Brethren, the earlier the better. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So he said, of his own will, he brought us forth. Of his own will, we did not force the Lord to show us the truth. It is his own will he brought me and you off. By the word of truth, we came by the word of truth. It means that we have the truthful word in our midst. That we might be a kind of firstborn. Of his creatures. A kind of firstborn. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is the Lord communicating to me and you tonight? Share the word of God. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now he says, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. 
Amen. Number one, swift to hear. Why is it swift to hear? Because we have a message that we need to deliver. People need to hear the word of God to change. Changes will not come until we hear the truthful words of God. Repentance will not come until we hear the truthful message of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Lord is, uh, is encouraging us to be swift to hear. Ears are open to hear words. The truthful words of the Lord. And you have it. Glory be to Jesus. Slow to speak. Slow. He's not telling you to. He's not telling you not to speak. But he says slow to speak. It means that your speech, you need to select a words that you have to use. You need to be selective of your speech. The messages you share, you need to be selective. Because sending message is another way of communicating. You don't know that. Do you think when you started talking the whole morning till night is when you are communicating? We also communicate in our sharing of things. Amen. Amen. Even our eyes, we used to communicate. Ah, somebody will stand there. You, you will see, they will say nothing. A word will never come, but you will see that. 20 minutes you will see they have met somewhere. They have already met at that Biaba already. They have met at that hotel. Eye communication, eye contacts. The way the eye will blink, when it blinks three times, meaning meet me at that hotel. With that communication, I'm telling you, the Lord wants me and you to share the good news. If we are not sharing these messages on this platform, then why are we fasting for? There is no point. Let us go and eat our banku and our fufu and all that. There is no point. This waste of time. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is the Lord communicating to me and you tonight? Mm. If people will repent, it depends on me and you. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of God, for the wrath of man, does not produce the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted way which is able to save your souls. Mm, to save souls. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The implanted word. How can the word be planted in you without hearing? As we are still keeping quiet, 
How is the children of God out there going to hear these messages? We keep quiet and then we fast. Even the fast, I don't know whether we fast because we don't see anyone. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. When it is time for us to break, we all come and break. Break what? Yes. Most of them didn't do it. Looks like we all did it. But most of them didn't do it. Amen. Amen. Do you know why? Because if they are not ready to share the gospel, how are they going to be ready to fast? Sharing the gospel, you are just pressing on your phone, on your computer, to give someone a message you cannot do. But when we tell you to... But when we tell you to fast, are you going to fast? <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is the Lord communicating to me and you? So the Bible is talking about an implant word. That should be planted in a man. And who is going to plant those words? It is me and you. Or you think it is pastor alone or pastor lady alone? We are all part of it. And we all have to sow that seed in the, in the life of men. So that repentance will come. If we will not do this, we will fast. The repentance will come. But it will end up somewhere else. Is the Lord communicating to me and you? From now on, I'm going to watch you very well. <laughs> and see if you are sharing the messages on this platform. I'm going to put eye on them. Amen. Amen. Because we need to promote the, the truthful message to go far and save people. Look at the testimonies that our sisters are, are sharing with us. So wonderful. So touching. But there are the same people out there in the same situation. But yet, they have also taken everything off. So why is it that? Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants to save them. Let us witness to them. And bring them to Christ. So the implant word is the only thing that can save souls. And the Lord wants me and you to plant them. So how are we going to plant them? By sharing the good news to others. Amen. Amen. If you are on this platform, so then I strongly believe you are with us. Therefore, anything that we are doing here, you are part of it. When good thing comes on this platform or in this ministry, you are part of it. When bad things are released, you are part of it. 
So we need to stand and protect what the Lord has given us. And also make sure that we share for people to come and see the light. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why in some place when you go, they will write your name. No. Yes, they will write your name. But here we don't write names. So everyone comes and go, comes and go. Some of us has, has, has made this place their second, their second, second uh, home. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. If we want people to receive salvation, the Lord is telling us to share the word that is coming out from this platform. The word of life. Amen. We don't talk about anyone apart from Jesus. Apart from the truth that the Lord has given to us. We know Satan will fight us because of the truth. Mm. But at least we are not dead yet. Mm. We can do something before we die. The devil cannot worry you 24-7. If the devil can worry you 24 7, you will not even have mouth to eat. But after our our long day uh, 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 struggling and and, and 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 the things that we do the whole day, we come back, relax, sit down and enjoy our meals. We know very well that problems are there, but we'll be still eating. Isn't that so? So this is what the Lord is saying. We will have the chance, regardless of the problems, to still share the word of God. So the 22 says, but be doers of the word. This is not for me and you alone. This is for everyone who hears the word of God. He said, be doer of the word. Be a doer of the word. How can you be a doer of the word if you don't hear the word? So the Lord wants people to be doer of his word. And how can these people be doer of the word if they do not hear the word of God? So brethren, the Lord is telling me and you. It is me and you that we should help those people to hear the good news. By sharing the word of God. So that they can learn what the Lord wants them to do and do them. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Is the Lord communicating to me and you? Hmm. Amen. Amen. But be doers of the word and not hearers alone, deceiving yourselves. Mm. Be a doer of the word. Not hearers alone. It means somebody has to hear the word of God. And who is going to tell these people? Now, why never catch us and go free? Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Is the Lord communicated to us? Please let us share the word of God. The undiluted word that is life. 
that the Lord is giving to us here on this platform. Let us share. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we ready to share? Or is it difficult for us to share? <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go with me once again to the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Hey, our, time is up. our time is also gone. Our, our time is gone. Let us read the Matthew and then we will close because of our time. We will continue some other time. Seven, please. Matthew chapter 7. Amen. Amen. Glory be. No, Matthew 6, please. Not, yeah, not not no. Oh, no, no, Matthew 7, rather. It's the same 7, yes. I was ahead of you. Let us read the 7. 7, 20, 7 24, please. Pedros, are you there? You can read for us, please, the tree. Hey, and then Adi Ayi. Precious, be my Michelle. Precious. Oh. I be. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. 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 Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man. Who built his house on the rock? Whoever mm -hmm. hears these sayings and does them. How can these people hear this saying of Jesus? If we are not ready to tell them. Amen. Amen. If the Bible says someone must hear the word, then also the Bible is saying someone has to speak the word. So, brethren, the Lord has made me and you his firstborn. Please let us share his word. By sharing the word of God, we are saving souls. By sharing the word of God, we are saving souls. So please let us make everything possible to share. It is better than to share any other stories. Glory to Jesus. Mm, amen. And we will really save a soul. To the glory of Jesus Christ. Had the Lord spoken to me and you tonight. If the Lord has truly spoken to you, then he wants us to save a soul. Brethren, tomorrow we are putting ourselves in fastening. We are not joking. We are going to deprive the best food that we want. Uh, sorry, 
because of these people out there, our siblings out there, we need to we want to fast for them. So, brethren, don't let our fasting be in vain. Amen. As we fast, let us also share his word. If we are saying share the word of God, we are not saying that go and share anything outside you. You will hear the message from here and you go out and share something outside. Share the undiluted word of life on this platform to others. That is what our Lord is talking about. Amen. 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 We don't want to fast in vain. Mm. You want to save souls for Jesus. Somebody say amen. 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 Let us open amen. our mouth and pray. We are going to pray. Pray for your own self. You don't know the reason why we are not sharing. May the Lord help us. <laughs> May the Lord help us so we can distribute his words. Amen. We will not keep them for ourselves alone. But we will give others the word to change. So that together we will all meet in heaven. Amen. We don't want to see ourselves in heaven and see our Amen. brethren in hell. Mm. So let us share the word of God so that souls can get repentance. Amen. Open your mouth and speak to yourself. To, to speak to yourself. To Father, I place myself under your authority. I pray that, Father, you help me that I can share your messages in order to draw souls. The more I share, the more I'm drawing souls unto you. I come before you tonight. Father, I don't want to go to heaven and see my brethren in hell. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus. Grant me the power, the zeal, the knowledge to share your way. So that people will hear your word and change to the glory of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us all. Uh, I want to find it, please. Evangelist. Open. What happened to that? No, it's not open yet. Evangelize open. I freeze it. Yeah. Okay, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, good evening, people. I just want to take a minute of your time. Good evening, uh, Evangelist. When Daddy was uh, preaching, something just happened to me that I want to share with you. When the uh, pastor was preaching and I was looking at them with uh, mommy, suddenly what I saw was that I saw I just started to see mommy's face started changing. So as it was changing like that, I was looking, and so I came closer to my this and my device to see if I'm seeing well or it's my eye. But it, it continues to change constantly. 
Then I I I I suddenly became weak in my chair. So what I saw is that I saw that I was on uh, another ground. That place is like cemented. It's not like cement actually, but it is. It looks like a a pavement. Then the next thing I saw was that I saw mommy also there. But when I saw her, she is in a like welcome the way people would dress a man to for wedding to cover the hair with a veil, with a long white wedding gown, and then with that uh, veil that is covering the head. The face. And to me, who we ask the man, me, me, at the start, I did me who no na kadi the shano no. I just say instead of be quiet, you phone it, yes, yes, you know, cut on the name, and then the sound you put in the phone, me na sound me who. So. Immediately, I saw that a path that came where she was, and a path that came before her, very straight path. But each of the paths, two of them, it is like uh, flowers that are the to like plant flowers at this side, and the plant flowers at this side. But it's a very small path. It's a very small path, like the way a, a farm path. If mm. you are building to, to a village, yeah. or that kind of farm path. Okay, and see, the moon answer a fine up and down on the panel, the woman, the panel, I asked the flowers, and nothing, you shouldn't tell the woman. Now, send your panel, so I fix work to send the third rule of Brasia, the form of fine, send the city and the sun, and then also say. Then, then I was uh, watching, don't know, because I was like, I don't know what is happening. So, what was happening was that I, I saw a very great light when the, where the path was. Going at the end, I cannot see the end of the path, but I saw a very great light shine from that place towards us where we were standing. And at the one of the side of the path, like the right hand side, it was like a cloud, but that place is like a valley. So the person walking on this path, when the person shifted to this little mistake, the person can fall into that valley in the path. Okay, so that was and then the funnel, and then guys, the move from people on the high step, I'm going to bump the bump to be so, and this will be a fast up on the sodia, or the path of fast, I'm going to do the walk on the new. And then I was standing, so I asked, then immediately I saw that somebody, a man appeared. The man appeared, the face looked like pasta. This looked like a pasta. But it's very tall, and I could see this, and it is very tall and having a very long, long, long uh, wings that I cannot see the end of the wing. But it they look like pasta, but like an angel, and very tall man. So I asked him that this what was happening, and he said, very soon the Lord will come take his bride. Mm. But the person that will pass through this path is the one that can do the light that is shining there. But I saw that while I was standing and mommy, there's like a, 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 a mark, there's a mark between us. And person was telling that 
when you get and you cross this mark, then you'll be given another dress like the way she has dressed. Hallelujah. Then he told me that he is on an assignment. So I asked, what is pastor? Then he said he is on assignment. He is on assignment. He is on assignment. Three times. Okay. Then I saw again that, as he said that, I saw some buses arriving, that the buses is like I was holding a megaphone. And I saw Pastor Steve, I saw Evangelist uh, Sapo, I saw Evangelist Nkuma, I saw some people also, some, but I saw some ladies among us, I saw them. Then we were shouting, like we were shouting, come and join the bus, like we are calling the people, like they would make the make uh, the so the people were in the line and they were joining the bus. So it's like me, I was helping uh, 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 Pastor Steve and I was helping them to come and join, come and join them. The, the Pastor King. Papa Harry King, and he, he, the dress he was wearing, he wore a long but blue, very blue and sparkling uh, dress. And when say me the minimum we put on is a man for so bad a plan on the foot doesn't do that. And if I start even like as a moment I'm not focused on the end of the morning outside. Yes, for Henry, I feel when I know what shout out yet it's a blue. Uh, think, 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 it's the form that I'm just saying. And shiny, I'm just saying, blink, 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 so in the in the bus, so as the people were in the line like that, they were like the, there are different buses and everybody and like the way he participated is shouting for one bus, another person shouting for uh, another bus. The ladies are screaming like the seat in the bus. I saw some ladies screaming the seat in the bus, and then they were helping some people like old men that cannot walk and old ladies that cannot walk. They were helping them gradually to come and join the bus. So the person told me that. Look, your bus is there, and if the bus was my bus. It's like the bus that gave me was very long, and there were people standing in the queue. But you know what? They was there to direct them into that bus. And a new one, 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 but then I got a data of what then I got it. That's why I loaded a new one and I came on the snake. And I want to share with the uh, members on this platform. Thank you. Oh, God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you, Amen. evangelist. God bless you for availing yourself for the Lord to use you to Amen. open your Amen. eyes to see this. Brethren, when we preach and the Lord opened people's eyes like this to see things concerning the message, I become very happy.
What do you want God to do again for you to know that this place, the power of God is here? Brethren, when I sit down, I was telling Pastor Eddie today, when I sit down, and remember and think about why people don't share our messages. I don't yes, understand. At least we have about, let's say, 30 people, children of God, that are prepared to go to heaven on this platform. We go online to preach the gospel 24-7. Maybe three times a day. At times more. But yet, our messages, we ourselves, will not share. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you won't share, we will go to heaven alone. <laughs> we, you see, ah, it is not that it pays me that people are not sharing. Not that. But my pain is that you know this message is true. And it will save somebody to enter into hell. Save somebody to, not to go to hell. It will save someone not to enter into hell. You have seen that people are on the edge to enter into hell. And you know the right message that will revive that person back to life. And you are intentionally keeping the message from the people. And you will share someone who needs a surgery. For what? Don't you know our God is the best doctor? His message can heal. When I think, when I think of this, I don't understand. But yet, the Lord will tell me. It is because of the message. Satan is attacking your message. He knows that the message will save souls. Therefore, he will not even prompt anyone to share. The other time, I was telling Pastor Stephen, let God give us a message. That everyone here on this platform tomorrow, Jesus Christ says he will come. 
I'm telling you, we will continue to do what we are doing. We will not bother. Let him come. We are not bothered. Let us be very careful. You are not doing it, Pastor Henry. Not Pastor Lady. Not any of the pastors. One day you will not see us here anymore. You will be waiting to share a message, but you will not get one. This is the time. This is the time. That if you want to save a soul, so I saw your crap. Just share the message to someone. Or the four chairs, or Jesus Christ have to come and wear rope white with a beard, with a red uh, uh, cloth, and beg you first. And I say, you say, yes, to Christ, to Babet, my hammer. Now, what shall I tell you? You fit on and about the sinner, uh, such who read, you know, of only boom and son, watch us, and now that is what our our Lord has revealed to our brother panel. Everything that is coming from this platform is pure. And it is good for the train of God to eat. <laughs> you don't understand. I pray the Lord will open your eyes so that you will see how the Lord has built this ministry. Everyone who is on this platform, most of them have their own personal revelation. Personal instructions to come here. So why is it that we will not tell the people out there what the Lord has shown us here? Why is it that we will not share the messages for them so they can also repent? That is why our sister's revelation, the Lord let me say that it is not the matter of taking your clothes. It is the matter of where you are. If you take your clothes where you don't have to be, you will experience it. But when you take your clothes and then you, you get a better place that the Spirit of the Lord dwells, you are saved. Brethren, it's not anything that we can say to you. We Prefer to lift up Jesus Christ. More than any other thing. That is why our God has given us thorns on us. He has given us thorns on our flesh. So that we will not exalt ourselves. And we love it so. We love to exalt Jesus Christ. Than to exalt ourselves. If we are talking about exaltation. To exalt ourselves. For people to know what the Lord has revealed to us. 
we will say and people will run and come but not that like what some are doing we want god to show it to you yourself so that when you come and you hear you will not doubt look at the gift that the lord has placed on this platform while we were preaching the lord is revealing something something wonderful to someone on the platform while the message was going on Amen. There is one thing the Lord has told us. There is nothing that we will say that God will not do. I'm telling you. If you will believe and come to him, he will do it. He will do it. Amen. 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 Oh, you Amen. 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 Do you think this beer, this white beer is there for nothing? <laughs> you don't you don't understand. <laughs> Do you think this white beer is there for nothing? <laughs> this colored beer, do you think it's there for nothing? Somebody look at my hair and said, I have dyed my hair. Because the way my hair looks like is not the way my beer looks like. <laughs> it is unique. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I know the reason why this beer is there. Mm. And the Lord have told me. And not me alone. He has told many people. Amen. 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 You may see us that we are young. We are not young in the spirit. We are grown in the spirit. <laughs> Amen. 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 Glory be to Jesus. Amen. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. We thank the Lord so much. Amen. Let us pray and thank him again. Let us thank him once again. Our Father, we thank you. We bless you for what you have told us. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you have done so much for us. It is beyond our understanding. We thank you and we bless you. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I don't even want to finish. Amen.
<laughs> we are coming back tonight. Please. Let us all come and pray. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless all of us. And may He empower us in Jesus' mighty name. Until we meet again tonight, we are heirs of the Father. We are joy.